Hi everyone, my name is Stefan Huber and on behalf of my co-authors Johanna Kramlich and Tobias Grundgeiger, I am going to present our ethnographical insights on today's work practices in air traffic control. Air traffic control is one of the classical research fields in CSCW and HCI. Since the 1940s, controllers documented the clearances which they radioed to the pilots on paper flight strips. When complexity of air traffic increased over time, organizational and technical innovations were required. About two decades ago, Wendy Mackay demanded that the role of the paper flight strip and its social and historical accounts need to be considered in the design of new systems. She predicted that the physical interaction between controllers and paper strips cannot easily be replaced. Eventually, however, paper strips did get replaced by variations of electronic flight strips or entirely stripless systems. Due to a lack of recent ethnographical research, we do still not know how these paperless systems affected controllers' work practices, communication and interaction. In order to learn about how controllers communicate with each other and interact with their systems today, we conducted contextual inquiries. In our paper, we report the insights on their strategies, derive implications for design, and discuss how the observed work practices are similar or different from practices reported or predicted in the literature. Air traffic control is a complex work domain. In order to better understand the perspectives of all actors, we conducted contextual inquiries with controllers in the approach positions and the tower, but also with pilots. Our focus lay on the feeder position in approach, who takes over aircraft from the pickup and optimizes their spacing, altitude, speed and direction before handing them over to the tower. To achieve the perfect spacing in the final, the feeder needs to communicate with controllers of neighboring sectors and, of course, with the pilots of aircraft in his or her sector. During their work, controllers follow the priorities safety, structure and efficiency in exactly that order. Our first insight is that digital is indeed faster and more stable than paper, thus contributing to efficiency. With respect to stability, Mikhail observed the breakdown of strip printers as a common occurrence. Today, the paperless strip systems run very stable and breakdowns are so rare that the centers schedule special trainings for the fallback systems. One controller told us, with the paperless strip system, I am faster than I ever was with paper strips. The reason for this improvement is that the rule, write while you speak, has been overtaken by penboard interaction. Controllers now document as they start to speak, but finish their documentation way quicker than the time it takes to verbally communicate the clearance to the pilot. This leads us to the second insight. The most prevalent limitation on how much traffic a controller in approach can handle is the radio frequency. Only one actor at a time can speak on the frequency without causing disturbances. To reduce traffic on the radio frequency, controllers combine radio messages. When pilots lack radio discipline and waste a valuable resource of time on frequency, controllers get stressed. So why not replace the error-prone language channel with preset recordings or written messages? The reason for this is our third insight. Speech on radio carries rich information. Controllers can retrieve valuable tacit information from the audio channel even when the quality is impacted. Over the audio channel, controllers learn about the pilot's mood and the general atmosphere in the cockpit, but they can also use their own voice to emphasize directs. Due to the limited time, I would invite you to read our paper for more details and insights. In future work, we will proceed with the design part of the contextual design process. Based on controllers' psychological needs, we aim for holistic concepts that support controllers with the advantages of automation, while still leaving control to operators and harvest the benefits of tacit information, thus adding positive user experience to the list of workstation priorities. And now I am very curious about your questions. Thank you for your time.